Greetings and welcome back to the lab and welcome to a test of a backup camera. I just realized that this camera does not have the ability to plug in an external microphone because there's no headphone jack. Uh, and my primary camera that is on the way after the uh, Yeah, I'm a Klutz video, um, that one also does not have a headphone jack. So I'm going to have to figure out whether the internal microphones are good enough or if I'm going to need to come up with another solution. But enough about that. I do want to do uh, a little bit of an update here. These are the stealth lights that I've been working on, uh, well, or that I, I thought I had finished. And it really, it was finished. It was working. It did everything it was supposed to do. But there was one catch. Uh, I was running them at such high power that I was burning out the infrared LEDs. So I've made an adjustment. I've decided to change the resistors out and make it so that the white lights are not quite as bright. There's a reason for that. And I've reduced the number of infrared LEDs. And this is actually one that I am now rebuilding. This is another one I'm going to be adding. So I originally had two and then I went to three. I am now going to four. That is why I'm reducing the brightness of the white LEDs. That should make them last that much longer. I have cut the infrared about in half. Um, actually, maybe a little bit more. I think I was running it somewhere between 40 and 50 milliamps uh, across the full 12 volts for five or six of them or whatever it was. I'll, I'll put a link to the old video. <laughs> Um, but I've now reduced it down to about 20 milliamps, maybe a little bit less than that. And that, sh under running those LEDs, even if I have to replace them with different infrared LEDs of the same wavelength, it should make them last that much longer. On top of that, one of the problems I had when they burnt out was it was really hard to tell if they had burnt out and which row had burnt out so I could start isolating the particular LED that had burnt out because these were all in series. One LED burns out, the whole line goes out. So what I've been doing is putting in the middle position a couple of red, regular red, visible red LEDs. And that helps with being able to verify that the infrared is still functioning. And on top of that, it kind of serves as a warning light. If somebody happens to pass by it might be an indicator. Somebody might look at it and go, well, why are there a couple of red LEDs there? So I'm not being completely stealth anymore. If you want to be stealth, you can do it the way I did it to begin with, but that is where we are on this project. Next video on this, uh, what with me trying to get all of my video equipment back up and running, next video will be uh, me finishing the build on this one and building this one out and then installing and showing you the difference. So that's where we are. Thank you so much for watching.